Hello and welcome to video 2 of our course on creating dashboards using Power BI. My name is Wilfred Ngwa. In this video, we will be looking at four main things. One, getting Power BI desktop onto your computers. Two, Power BI desktop and other Power BI packages. Three, a presentation of the practical exercise that will be used in this course. And four, the data analysis plan that we will be using to solve our exercise. For this course. Ensure to subscribe and stay glued to the EpiGuider channel so as not to miss out in our practical lessons in research and epidemiology. That said, let's get into the business for today. There are two ways to get Power BI installed on your computer. The first way is to download the software from the Microsoft web page. Once you get to the web page, click on Products and then on Power BI Desktop to display the download page. You can click on Download Free to download the software in English, which is the default download language. I will, however, suggest you click on See Download or Language Options as this gives you more flexibility over your download options, such as the language and setup type. Let's leave the language to English and then click on Download. This takes us to the File Setup page. Select the file setup you want to download and click on Next. Navigate to where you want the software stored on your computer and then click on Save. You can then navigate to this folder and double click on it to install. The second way to install Power BI is from the Microsoft Store, which is available for Windows 10 users. This option has the advantage to automatically update your software each time a new update is available. To do this, click on the Start menu and look for Microsoft Store. On the top right hand corner, you can start typing Power BI in the search window to display Power BI desktop. Click on it and then on install. Whichever way you choose to use, this will get Power BI Desktop to your computer. When we were going through the web download option for Power BI Desktop, I want to guess you noticed that besides Power BI Desktop, we had a couple of other packages. Let's have a quick look at these packages, which are well detailed by Zello on his website. Power BI Desktop is the free version of the Power BI packages. As we have seen previously, it can be installed on your local computer as a program where it acts as a companion desktop application to the full version of Power BI. Power BI Pro is the full version of the Power BI packages. It is complete and has the ability to use Power BI both for building dashboards as well as unlimited viewing, sharing, and consumption of your created reports and reports shared by others. This unlimited viewing, sharing, and consumption of reports is not possible with Power BI Desktop. It currently prices at 9.99 USD per month. Power BI Premium is the most expensive Power BI package currently available in the market. It currently prices as 4,995 USD per month and provides a perfect fit for large businesses. By default, all the Power BI versions, the desktop, pro, and premium are mobile responsive. There are also native smartphone and tablet Power BI mobile applications for Android, iOS, and Windows devices. These applications act as a complementary service to view your reports on the go. However, 
You can also import data and import reports into existing apps and sites on the mobile app as well. It is important to note that Power BI, besides the packages which we have discussed, has an online Power BI service, which is where your published dashboards can be accessed from. If you would like to learn more about the features of these Power BI packages, I have a link shared in the comment section below. Let's now take a look at the practical exercise we will be tackling while learning Power BI. You have just been hired as a member of the COVID-19 Task Force team for an international NGO. The objective of this NGO is to scale up the rollout of the COVID-19 vaccine worldwide. In order to ensure an equitable rollout of the vaccines, the NGO needs to make use of COVID-19 data coming in from different countries. Your role is to create a dashboard using Power BI and share with decision makers within this NGO for quick referencing in order for them to be able to make evidence-based decisions. In this course, we will try to attain these objectives using Power BI, making use of live COVID-19 data. One of the main difficulties people experience with data analysis in general is going into performing analysis without a data analysis plan. A data analysis plan is a roadmap for how you are going to organize and analyze your data. I produced a simple one for this exercise. Let's take a look at it. First, we need to obtain or collect data to permit us attain our objectives. In our case, we will make use of COVID-19 data available on the web. Secondly, we have to transform this data. It is very unusual in real life to have your data in a form which is ready for analysis. Thirdly, we will need to model our data. This step is mostly used in Power BI when you have more than one table. Modeling your data permits you to define or create relationships between your tables. Fourthly, we will look at how to perform calculations on our data set. This is also a step which comes in handy depending on your data set and what you want to achieve. Calculations need not to be performed on all data sets. The fifth step will be the actual creation of our dashboard. I have displayed some key data elements and indicators which we will try to display on our dashboard. In the sixth step, we will move over to distributing our created dashboard for public consumption. Lastly, we will see how to automate all these steps by scheduling an automated refresh so that as new data becomes available, we won't have to do this process all over. We are at the end of this lesson. Some key things to note are, one, Power BI comes in three main packages, the Power BI desktop, the Pro and the Premium package. Two, it is always important to have a data analysis plan before going into data analysis, be it on Power BI or any other software. In our next video, we will focus on getting data into Power BI. Until then, bye-bye.